सो हेलो एवरी वन हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड वेलकम टू द मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल एस्पायरिंग स्टूडेंट्स लुकिंग टू एंटर इन टू क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एंड मेक एन अमेजिंग करियर वी हैव डन एन एक्सटेंसिव रिसर्च एंड बॉट टू यू द टॉप क्लिनिकल रिसर्च कॉलेज इन इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लेन डिटेल सच एस एलिजिबिलिटी एंट्रेंस फी स्ट्रक्चर कैंपस प्लेसमेंट एंड एवरेज सैलरीज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम दिस टॉप कॉलेज प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल टू स्टे अपडेटेड ऑन सच इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स स्टार्ट so when it comes to clinical research career there are multiple routes through which you can enter into clinical research so first and foremost you can enter after your 10 plus 2 education you can enter after your graduation and it, you can enter after your masters so let us understand the pros and cons of entering into various stages of the career so that you can make sensible choices so if you enter into clinical research after your 10 plus 2 there you would do your graduation that is bsc in clinical research and in this particular bsc courses your focus would be very narrow to clinical research also most of the bsc clinical research students do not go for their ms in clinical research because there is not much to be added or there is no much value addition in ms in clinical research so a lot of people miss their masters if you miss your masters you are just a bsc graduate so it affects your career progression and your promotions also it has a major impact on your salary growth as well as the career growth so 10 plus 2 would not be a sensible option if you are looking to enter into clinical research the second way people enter into clinical research is after their pg most of the student entering after their pg move into clinical research from their core jobs okay whenever the core jobs are not available they look for an alternative career and into they move into clinical research okay but moving into uh, clinical research after your pg does not make sense because you need to only do a certification that is for 6 months okay so it makes sense that you do not enter into a masters of clinical research but you do a certification and after uh, your pg you have to compromise on uh, pay again because once you have invested so much in your education you whenever you get a job into clinical research you start from a crc role so that is a very uh, low paying job so you start from 15 20000 or even lesser than that okay so if you are flexible with starting your career from the bottom after your pg then you can go for this route but what i would recommend is the best option that is after your graduation you do your graduation in life sciences or your medicine in whatever field you like and then you go into your masters and you do that masters in the clinical research that is the most sensible option to enter into this clinical research career here you would have your basic graduation as well as you would look at a different career avenue in clinical research and get value addition on it after your graduation whenever you do your masters you get your pg completed okay as well as learn new things about clinical research so that would have a significant impact on your knowledge base again when it comes to masters in clinical research they complete their courses in 1 to 1 and a half years and the last 6 months they offer uh, internships okay they require mandatory internships these are 90% converted into your job opportunity which would lead to full time employment so i would recommend that you enter clinical research mostly after your graduation the second option would be after your pg and last uh, would be after 10 10 plus 2 so make sure you enter clinical research at the right time now let me explain you how does the masters in clinical research work okay so this is a general uh, di differentiation between the different semesters offers in clinical research for the two years so in first semester you would lo be looking at the overview of clinical research followed by the design and planning of clinical trials so this might include some internship at second semester in the third semester you would understand how the clinical trials are conducted how they are closed how the reporting of the of the clinical trial results is being done so in semester 1 2 3 you would understand everything in semester 4 there would be a dissertation and uh, there would be the internship okay so by three semesters you acquire all the knowledge in clinical research okay so by three semesters you are covered and when it comes to this last semester you are into uh, the job market okay so uh, by the time you finish your msc you are very much job ready
so this is general idea of the msc course curriculum now let us understand which are the best clinical research institution and the best clinical research institution that is the first rank would be the institution of clinical research in india that is icri so icri offers a masters in clinical research along with diploma and certification they have intake capacity of uh, 30 student for the msc and the intake for uh, diploma and certification is variable the total course fees for msc uh, would be 4.5 lakhs and for diploma it is around 1 lakh when it comes to placement and salary they do provide placement assistance not guarantee but the average salary ranges anywhere around 3.5 to 9 lakhs per annum now institution of clinical research in india that is icri uh, has an affiliation with various institutions and various colleges which are located in mumbai pune delhi nashik jaipur dehradun and bangalore so whichever campus location is closer to you you can uh, pursue your diploma certification or a masters in clinical research when it comes to entrance there is no such entrance but you would at least require 50% uh, marks in your graduation in whatever the life sciences or medicine uh, field you have done when it comes to return on investment the tuition fee ranges around 1 lakh to 4.5 lakh depending upon what kind of courses you do whether a certification or a masters and the average salary package uh, is 3.5 to 9 lakhs per annum which is uh, good for this particular institute and industry next institute would be a uh, transnational health science and technology institute that is thsti this particular institute offers uh, only msc courses they do not have any diploma certifications available so only graduate people can uh, graduation people can go here or if you want to do your uh, double post graduation you can go here the intake capacity is only 15 seats so they have a really focused approach and the total fee for msc would be 2.8 lakhs per annum and other fees are variable depending upon the hostel fees and any other fees when it comes to placement and salary they do provide placement uh, assistance and the average salary ranges anywhere around 3.5 to 7 lakhs per annum they have their campus uh, and affiliations located at various uh, locations such as uh, pune delhi faridabad vellore and mysore you can go and check their, their uh, website and obtain uh, additional information if you require when it comes to entrance and eligibility they have a written examination and also depending upon the requirement they conduct interviews also again the graduation uh, requirement is 50% uh, of your marks so uh, when it comes to return on investment the tuition fees ranges anywhere around 1.8 uh, to 2.8 lakhs and the average uh, salary 3.5 to 7 lakhs per annum is good so if you compare the return on investment it is a good investment when it comes to masters and also they have limited seats so there would be a focus of approach so that is what the expectation is so you can check this particular institute out this is also a good institute So the third institute uh, would be Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai. Now this is one of the best clinical research institute as per my personal opinion, and I'll tell you why I like it. So the courses offer, offered here is MSc in clinical research, and please note that this is not a two-year MSc but a three-year three MSc. Here they would have two years of course where they would have extensive uh, theory as well as a combination of practicals, and there is a mandatory one-year internship. so after your two two uh, years of msc you would have to do an additional one year internship now this is also an advantage i'll come to that later so the intake capacity of this particular uh, institute that is tata memorial mumbai is only 10 to 15 seat okay so you can check their uh, particular uh, brochure so whenever you have to take your admission there would be uh, seats if they increase or decide to increase this particular year the total course fees would be around 2 lakhs so if you see the fees for all the three years is also 2 lakhs and when it comes to uh, placement and salary they do provide placement assistance and uh, there are campus placements also and when it comes to salary they have the highest average that is 3.5 to 11 lakhs per annum okay so they have a very good campus placement provided and a good reputation when it comes to the campus location they are located in mumbai only now let us understand how you can enter into this particular institute so there is a written examination required to qualify for this particular course along with there are interview for final selection when it comes to basic eligibility there is 50% marks you require along with uh, your graduation 
and now this is the interesting part the return on investment why i love this particular institute is that the tuition fee is very very average ranging around 1.9 uh, 1.8 to 2.8 lakhs for the three years the best part is they would offer you stipend also so you would be earning 12000 per month for the first year 15000 for the second year and 18000 during your one year internship so in this particular course you would not only be paying fees but also be getting stipend also and this is one of the very much uh, key highlight of this particular institute and obviously uh, tata being tata they are not exploiting you by taking your fees but they are returning the same so you would be a msc graduate from reputed institute as well as you would be earning while doing so the average salary package again is awesome it is anywhere around 3.5 to 11 lakhs per annum which is best in the industry so the creme de la cream of clinical research institute would be tata memorial and if you want to start a career really want to make a difference and have a good alma mater then i would recommend that you go for tata memorial mumbai The next institute would be uh, Jamia Hamdard uh, University Delhi. They do offer MSc uh, courses. Okay, so MSc for two years. They do not have any diploma certification in clinical research. The intake capacity would be 30 seats for the MSc, and uh, the course fee for MSc ranges around 4 lakhs to 6.0 lakh, 6.06 lakhs per annum. So they do have two types of MSc in clinical research. Depending upon what you choose, the fees may vary. When it comes to placement and salary, they do provide placement assistance and the salary range is also good. The average range is anywhere around 4 to 9 lakhs per annum. And the location of this particular course would only be in New Delhi. That is the Jami Hamdad uh, University. The entrance exam year is a written exam that is proprietary for uh, Jamia and the eligibility would be 50% for the graduation now when it comes to return on investment so you have around 4 lakhs to 6.6 .6 lakhs depending upon the course but the average salary package is on par or just above uh, on par of the industry that is 4 to 9 lakhs per annum so that is this is again a good option after the tata so you can check this particular university out Uh, last but not the least uh, we have uh, Indian Institute of Public Health that is located in Delhi so this particular institute offers uh, two years MSc in clinical research but they do not have any diploma certification courses so the intake capacity for this particular uh, MSc in clinical research is 25 seats and the total uh, course fee would range around 4.8 to 6 lakhs per annum depending upon whether you need a hostel or accommodation or not the placement and salaries uh, when it comes to this institute the placement assistance is provided and the salary is uh, on par with the industry for 4.0 to 9 lakhs per annum and this is only uh, located in new delhi they do not have any satellite centers or affiliations when it comes to eligibility they do have their proprietary uh, written examinations and uh, the graduation here if you see carefully that you would require 60 percent okay not 50 percent but 60 percent in your graduation okay whatever field you choose in life sciences or medicine when it comes to return on investment the fees are uh, 4.8 to 6 lakhs per annum that is slightly above uh, the industry average but the average salary packages is again good for the industry that is 4 to 9 lakhs per annum so thank you for watching this video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if we were able to help you with the best clinical research institute in india and stay with our channel so that we can grow your clinical research career and help you with such amazing information thank you